For this week's forum, we're once again going to be working uh, with the Decimals Graphing Calculator. I just want to show you, uh, now that we've been using derivatives, how Decimals can help us with some of our calculations. Let me uh, graph a quick function here. Everybody's favorite function, f of x equals x squared. It's the parabola that you're used to seeing. And I want to show you how if we need the value of a derivative at a particular x-coordinate, we don't even need to calculate the derivative. We can simply tell Desmos that we want to know uh, the value of f prime at, say, x equals 2. So I put in f prime of 2, and you can see that value pops right up in the little gray box here. Desmos takes care of computing the derivative and plugging into 2. All we have to do is look at the answer there. This happens to be the value uh, for the slope of the tangent line uh, at x equals 2 on this curve. And so let me just show you uh, how we can just visualize this. Uh, the point on the curve that we're talking about is 2 comma 4, which is f of 2. If you ever want to find out uh, the particular point, you don't even need to compute it. Just put f of 2. Decimals takes care of computing it. So you can see I have this red dot here. That's 2 comma 4. Uh, we've been finding uh, equations for tangent lines over the last week or so, and we use the point-slope form to do that, so we can quickly get this tangent line to pop out. As you know, I simply do y minus the y value, which is f of 2. Yes, I know it's 4. y minus f of 2 equals the slope f prime of 2 times x minus 2. So my tangent line, which is blue, bumps up against my orange parabola at that red point, 2 comma 4. I'm showing you this because the activity that we're going to uh, complete for the forum uh, is a technology exercise where we use Desmos to uh, compute the second derivative at a given x value. I'm looking at page 221 and what I'm going to run through here is my solution to problem 1 on page 221. And then, of course, I'm going to ask you to complete problem 2. This is going to be very fast. Once you complete this, you're going to have plenty of time to work on your assignment during the week. So here it goes. Uh, I'm asked to find the value of the second derivative for f of x equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 1 when x equals negative 1. Step 1, type in the function. Oops, f of x equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 1. f of x shows up. Here it's green. Okay? And then in the activity, I'm asked to find the value of the second derivative. So I type f double prime. And the x coordinate is negative 1. So I type in negative 1. And the result pops out. I'm done with the activity. I jot down the minus 18, the negative 18 as the value of the second derivative, and I move on. I'm just going to ask you to complete the same uh, activity here, but use problem 2 on page 221 instead of problem 1. Again, just trying to show you how we have these tools available that can help us interact with our functions uh, and give us another uh, insight into some of these uh, second derivative, first derivative values without having to go through the process of uh, computing the, the expression for the function. Uh, when appropriate, this is a really quick, quick and uh, nice tool to use. So good luck with your uh, activity and your post. Let me know if you have any questions. And, and also good luck with the assignment this week.